What is up guys, JD here, bringing you another Everyday Carry video. Today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different, even though it's kind of the same. I'm going to talk about the Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer. Um, so the purpose behind this product for me was to kind of get a certain set of tools, items together that I wouldn't necessarily carry directly on my person. Although I will say that Maxpedition does advertise this as a pocket organizer. <clears throat> and it does indicate that you can wear it in or drop it in your cargo pocket, pants pocket, or backpack or bag. And for me, I'm actually using this in my work backpack. So it's 5.5 inches high and it is um, 3.5 inches uh, across the width. And then when it's full, they say about one inch wide. It definitely looks a little bit more than one inches. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get into the, get into the contents of what I'm using it for um, and then talk about some of the other applications that I had seen this particular product getting used for, <clears throat> which actually was very interesting to me. And I could see using it on at least a couple of the applications that I have seen. So um, it has a YKK zipper. I mean, it's a very nice zipper um, and it has a little paracord pull. So I like that. It feels strong, it feels very, very strong. And then you can see on the inside, it has pockets for you to store stuff in the back. And then it has elastic organizers in the front. Now, the one thing with the elastic, uh, as it gets older, it'll probably stretch out or harden some. So I'll be curious to see like what the quality is for the elastic and how it holds up. So the very first thing that I have in here that I'll jump on into is the uh, Streamlight MicroStream flashlight in red. This one is the AAA variant and it is 35 lumens. And the red aluminum, I was trying to do a theme, uh, but it's very hard to match reds. Uh, every company does it a little bit differently. So that does make it a bit of a challenge. So that's the first item that's in here and we'll set that aside. So the next thing I wanted was kind of like a pin that would fit in here. And when I initially started searching, I was looking for like just a mini twist out pin. Uh, didn't really want to try to get uh, a Fisher space pin for this particular application because I usually have a Fisher space pin on me as part of my carry. This was more like a backup in the bag just in case that day I didn't have my pin. So this one is the uh, Narwalco, and I hope that I'm saying that right, mini pen. So very interesting. Uh, you can see this is very, very tiny, much smaller than I thought. I didn't really think to take the measurements because I didn't even know that they made pens this small. It is um, an aluminum pen, and it has a refillable ink cartridge that comes with it. So I'll pull that out now. So I just have the refill here in the back in the case that it came with. If I can get it out of here. There it goes. So little tiny refill comes with it. I thought it was pretty cool. It writes really well and surprisingly grippy. Um, so I can write with it. And like I said, it's just something to j jot some quick notes down with it. I also have a backup pen here in the back. This is just a palm pen. It is orange, and that's because I thought it looked more red in the picture. So uh, this is just a little gel cap pen. It comes with the little beads here, so it's meant to like put on like a key ring. Not really something that I would do, but I just wanted to have a backup pen just in case someone needed a pen, someone wanted to borrow a pen, just to kind of have a backup. So the other thing that I have in here is my Victoria Knox Super Tinker. And I'll leave a link at the top of the video here for you guys to go to that review and you let me know what you think. I think this potentially could be 
my favorite Victoria Knox model. Um, I'm looking at the camper that I have and, sorry, the farmer that I have with the aluminum scales. And then what I'd like to do eventually is get the camper, which has, instead of, I think, instead of the screwdriver, I believe that has the corkscrew. Not 100% sure off of memory right now, but I think it, it's set up just a little bit differently. So I'd have to go back and look. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I got the Victoria Knox in here. The reason for the Victoria Knox is because it has the knife blades, the can opener, the bottle opener. It has the awl. It has the, um, the awl and screwdrivers, flathead, Phillips head. So it kind of covers a bunch of needs. So on the back here, I just have, uh, it's called a little moleskin notepad. Again, looks orange. <laughs> In the pictures, when I was looking at it, I thought it was going to be red. But the size really was good for what I wanted back to throw back here in the back. <clears throat> uh, you have the option to get the lined. I just got like the blank pages so that I could write, draw, you know, whatever I thought I was going to need it for. Just have the space for it. I didn't really think the line matter. But they do have an option for the line if it was something that you were interested in or, you know, if, you, if this could fit in something else that you might be using. <clears throat> so... A lot of stuff in there, and I'm not even done with the left. So the last thing that I have in here, because I do have the Streamlight microphone back there, I do have a backup battery for it, and I put it in a little Ziploc bag just in case, like I said, if it explodes, it's not going to damage my bag or any of the contents. Uh, if it got wet, everything in here can survive a little bit of water, but I wanted the batteries to be protected. And I do have a AA in here um, also just in case. So that's everything that's on the left side that is completely empty, and that's a lot of storage. So since I have this side open, what I'll go ahead and show you is this is, um, it appears like a really thin nylon, but it reminds me of like a material that you would see on a tent. So durable, even though it's kind of thin. And again, the elastic is stitched in here really nice. I don't know if you can see down in there but it doesn't feel like it would pull away or tear easily moving on to the right side on the right side i have my gerber pry -Brid pocket tool um, with little g10 scales so this for me even though i have the knife with the victorinox this is more like the breaking down boxes um, opening packages and stuff so i don't dull my knife blade necessarily uh, this gives me the option to use something that would be easily replaced. So the halfway point on the pry bar pulls the blade out and then fully exposing it gets you to this little lever here so that you can replace these. And I have a rope cutter. Obviously, it's a pry tool, so it can take out nails. It has pry bar, and I don't believe you can do anything with a flathead has a bottle opener. So I have two bottle openers in here, so I'm double covered. <laughs> the next thing that I have in here is one of my favorite recently discovered tools, and that is the Bit Vault. Um, I've seen people use it for many, many different things. It does have like a little carabiner here, so you could clip it to your key ring. Uh, you could do a belt loop. Not really sure. You could probably clip it on a bunch of different things. So when you open it, sorry, I have big fingers, so I struggle with little things like this sometimes. But I have just assorted bits. So for me, I have um, some T's. I have a flat, and then I have a flip set. And these came with it. I went and bought these separate. That's why they don't really match. But for me, I wanted to have the sizes that I could use to kind of break down my knives, clean them, uh, other little miniature things that you might see like on a computer. The nice thing about this, it has the carry clip, which helps keep it in place. It has where you can, in. Um, I think this side is magnetized, but I don't believe this side is. So you can put it in so that you can, you know, twist it like normal. And then if you need some leverage, you throw it here and you can crank down on it. So that was really nice. I really like that. Uh, I've seen people throw in like, you know, Advil and things like that. I wouldn't, for me, it's a tool and it is, I don't know if you can see, 
in the video, it does have a seal here and it does claim to keep water out. So I thought that was a nice feature. Uh, so really cool tool. Uh, really surprised how much I liked it. Very different. I liked it also for this application because it lays flat. Whereas like the pin style screwdrivers that have the assorted bits sits up a little bit higher and they're usually a little bit thicker, kind of like this. And I was needing this side to be a little bit more flat because I had the thicker items on this side. So trying to organize it so that it fit and closed. And right now, the only other thing that I have in here on the back is just some Allen key. So for other things that you can't really, and I just picked up like, you know, our independent set off of Amazon. It's very lightweight. I did try to stick it in my front pocket just to see, and surprisingly it does fit. It fits, but it is very bulky and padded and it sticks out, it's very noticeable. And you feel that it's there, but I think it all depends to what you're carrying. So, you know, I got tools in here with, with bits uh, the pry bar is not heavy, but it's definitely a little bit heavier than some of your more standard pocket knives that are probably about the same size folded. It is mm, eh, it's actually kind of close to the Super Tinker. And I would say these are the two heaviest items that are in here. The, the bit vault, even with the bits in it, still feels a little bit lighter. Maybe, maybe not. The batteries don't really weigh anything. Obviously the notepad doesn't weigh anything. The um, light stream, I'm sorry, stream light, <laughs> stream light. The stream light is very lightweight. Uh, you, you don't really know that it's there. These pins don't weigh anything. So some of the other applications, that's what I was gonna talk about. I have seen people do mini survival type deals where they have like fishing line. Um, they have fair rods for fire starting. They have created little, uh, fire starter cotton dipped in wax like just so many cool things out there people are so creative and it's really fun and interesting to watch how everybody um, uses this differently builds other things it's just really cool the other thing that i saw was a mini tool bag which is kind of what you know sort of what i've used it for because i carry it to work i do have some small tools uh, I do break it out, you know, on the weekends if I'm doing like a knife cleaning or something to that degree. The Allen keys help me with like stuff on the uh, mountain bikes that I ride. Flashlight, always helpful. So I've seen a lot of people do really cool things with the um, Maxpedition Micro. So this is the smallest one that they make and it's really well made. Highly recommend it. So what I'll do for you guys, if any of this stuff interests you, I will link, leave links in the description for all of this stuff, um, starting with the Maxpedition, which is the main thing that I wanted to review with you guys. And if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful, if you can leave a like, subscribe. Uh, I do different content. I do, you know, weekly content. Anything that you guys may want to see or are interested in or have any additional questions about, just leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get an answer to you. Thanks. God bless.